Tommy Sproles Sr., a man in our time who is known as a hero for me. Well, I was born here in Hot Springs, and uh, when I was born, my mother left me for dead in an abandoned house, and I, a nep uh, nephew to the lady that found, uh, the boy that found me, he uh, took me to her, and she raised me as a very old. Uh, I took her home immediately, because uh, she would have died if I hadn't taken her home that day because it was it was in December very cold and she only had a pillowcase wrapped around her and a, that wet diaper mm -hmm. and uh, I knew my aunt would take her in and she did right away I treated differently by the people that raised me but by my school uh, classmates, the peers that knew that maybe possibly heard it from their parents. And so that was the only difference that was made. Um, uh, being related uh, by blood is, 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 is one thing, but you can be closer to a person that you don't have blood relationship with. In this case, you know, we were raised up in the same house and, you know, ate the same food and, um, uh, you know, stayed in the same bed sometimes. So it was, uh, you know, just kids growing up. I was older, but, you know, I, I loved it like a little sister. Well, I started out being very um, laid back. I never involved myself in too many things, uh, not having a place that I thought that I belong as when I was in my elementary years. But as years uh, came by in my junior high, I found myself always wanting to be a help to somebody else that was hurting for some reason. As an adult, um, it's been a challenge to uh, really find myself to know that that's what I'm doing. I'm really helping people understand that what happens in the beginning doesn't always mean you're ending. So it's not as hard uh, in my mind for his life now. I think it was the experience, but it was the fact that uh, I wanted another son after having my own children. And so the next thing was to adopt and to just give somebody else a chance to have a better life. So it could be to the fact that, yeah, it kind of uh, equated to that. I was raised as a God-fearing young lady. But also, I raised my children in God-fearing and letting them know how much I love them. So I think by me being in the predicament that I, I was in, it caused me to embrace my children in a different way. Uh, understood and felt abandonment. I wanted to make sure that I didn't never want to abandon my children. So I became overprotective to make sure they were good. Say it like this. Uh, God had a plan for my life and by me pastoring, now I look back and it really had to do with my uh, call to my life, being born in the place that I was, being left in the place that I was, it led me to the place that I am now. And so I would have to say that my adoption was a very positive uh, part of my life and a part of my call. I wrote the book because I wanted people to understand that your pain can turn to your passion and you're able to really use that as a stepping stone to help someone else instead of being bitter. So the book is to break the cycle of everything that hurt you in your past and make it your passion to help someone else. There is a greater change that can take place and they don't have to stay in the same place so it can be a positive in it. So that's what led me to my book, to helping others. Knowing how to love people in their crisis. Makes me feel pretty good. You know, uh, anytime you can, you can help somebody and then they turn out to be good,
and successful, it makes you feel real good. I'm proud of her. Very proud.